What's up guys, they make the vibes here. I'm at the duck pond today, put in a couple laps. So excuse me if I sound a little winded. It's also slightly raining out here. I've been pondering for a while now about how people are just restless. People are tired. People are just tired. If you just sit and watch and observe and look at people day to day, they're tired. And, and I know why they're tired. I think part of it is because our jobs, right? These jobs that we were working leave us tired. But even deeper than that, it feels like, especially online, which is why, again, I only have YouTube now, but people have an echo chamber of things they care about. You ever notice that? You notice that if it doesn't directly affect them, they don't seem to care. Like even the uh, Israeli, Palestine, I'm not really um, knowledgeable of the situation or what's going on over there. I'm not privy to it, but I asked one of my friends about it and they kind of was like, dude, I really don't care. And at first I was like, oh man, that's such a, that's such a bad thing to say. But honestly, I get it. Like, honestly, I truly get it. People have a lot going on nowadays. They have their family, their spouses, right? Hey, people have busy schedules. So why would, like, think about it from other people's perspective. Why would I care about something happening miles, miles away in a whole different country when I got shit right here that's going on, right? In my own backyard, in essence. And it just had me pondering on that, 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 that issue of like why people don't care and how people are restless and people are tired. Like for me, my schedule is booked for November. I have a lot going on. I'm not working right now, I take time off of work, like I said, but I have stuff that I'm doing and I'm booked, right? And sometimes I get tired, like fuck that. I don't care about the, the notion that, oh, rest is seen as laziness or if you take time off, then somehow you're less of a man or you're being weak, right? It's seen as weakness if, we, if we're if we tired, if we're restless. But I would argue that taking time off, not only for your mental health, but for your body, I think is one of the most valuable and most important things you can do. Like, why do we have to go, go to exhausting before we realize that we need a break, that we need to stop and slow down? Like, why do we, why do we do that? Why do we have to get to a point where our body's like, hey, yo, Mac, you need to like slow down, right? And it's, it's, it's done that pretty much, which is why I'm taking off work. But it just had me thinking, because again, I've been observing and it feels like, I think it's, I think it's also because we, we fill our time with, with so much. Like, as everything is, like everything is scheduled out, especially if you have kids, or you have a, a fast paced job in essence. Like it's, it's filled with like slots. Like, okay, 3.30 I gotta do this, four I gotta do this, five I gotta do this, six I gotta, it's, it's back to back and it's like, when do you have that time to just rest? When do you have that time to just slow down and take time for yourself? I've realized that that is very important and I don't know who started that, you know, it's weak, it's weakness for men to not go hard 24 seven to, you know, have rest as our priority. I don't know who started that, but quite frankly, I could give two shits cause bro, it's, it's real. And again, people are tired, people are restless. So give people the benefit of the doubt. If people don't hit you back up immediately, if people can't hang out, try to at least understand and give them grace that they could just be tired. Especially nowadays, again, mental health is huge. Give people grace. Give people grace, man. And I know that this is uh, something that might seem like a controversial take or stance, but I truly believe that we were not just put on this earth just to work and work and work <laughs> that seems to be the ethos of the global landscape nowadays right the underscore of 
just hard work, hard work, hard work, all right? If you're not if you're not working hard, then what are you doing, right? <laughs> it's quite it's quite comical to be honest. What does what is all this hard working getting you? I'm not talking about physical possessions, although yes, you could argue that you know this uh, your lifestyle is affording you you certain luxuries, which I wouldn't doubt. Same as mine. But just to be conscious for a second, really think about it. What is this, all of this work getting you other than being tired and restless? All right. And when you become restless and you're tired, you stop caring. You stop giving a fuck about others. That's just a byproduct of it. Because your, your consciousness is so filled with things you have to avert your attention to. Like adding one more thing to the problem, like you're just causing extra problems at this point. If you if you look at it from that viewpoint, if your mind right is filled with all this stuff, you're hearing about somebody. Oh, this person got. I, I hate to be rude, but just to be frank, oh, this person got shot, or this happened upstate, or this happened. It's just like, okay, it's just you like think about it for a second. Oh man, that's sad. And you just keep it moving. And I think that comes from, as a society, us being so restless and tired. How do we fix it? Is there a fix? It's just questions I ponder about.